As Voyager 2 drifted deeper into space, it started recording strange patterns in radiation and plasma density. These patterns didn't match any known models, and they weren't random. They came in waves, steady and rhythmic, almost like weather in deep space. For years, the concept of interstellar weather was considered just a poetic idea, not a scientific one. But the data from Voyager 2 changed that. It began picking up high-energy particle waves, sudden shifts in magnetic fields, and bursts of galactic rays that repeated in odd rhythms. At first, scientists tried to blame the sun. They thought solar flares or storms could be the cause. But the timing didn't add up. The signals didn't match any solar activity. Then, they looked further. The patterns Voyager was detecting matched distant cosmic events, possibly the aftermath of ancient supernovas or the push of stellar winds from stars far away. Voyager 2 appeared to have entered a kind of ocean, an interstellar sea full of invisible currents and chaotic waves. Without the sun's protection, it was drifting alone into a wild and unknown region. One of the most shocking discoveries came at the edge of our solar system. Scientists expected a storm of magnetic chaos as the sun's magnetic field clashed with the galaxy's field. But instead, Voyager found smoothness. The magnetic fields outside were already aligned with the sun's field. It was almost too perfect. This left scientists with two disturbing ideas. Either the solar wind had been shaping the area for millions of years, or the field was already in place before the sun got there. The second idea was even more strange. It suggested that the galaxy itself is structured in a way we never imagined, with magnetic organization on a massive scale. When magnetic fields align like this, cosmic rays from outside can flow directly into our solar system. That makes Earth more exposed during quiet periods of the solar cycle. This wasn't just a curious finding. It forced a major change in how we think about space. Maybe the edge of our solar system is more than just a fading boundary. Inside NASA, some scientists started asking unusual questions. What if the heliosphere, the bubble created by our sun, isn't just a shell? What if it's a kind of barrier or checkpoint? The sharp change in radiation, the perfect field alignment, and similar readings from both Voyager probes seem to hint at something active at the boundary. Some believe the edge of the solar system may shift based on what's happening outside. Others wonder if it acts like a tripwire, something that reacts when crossed. No aliens. No science fiction. Just a natural feature of the galaxy that may serve as a kind of signal line. And Voyager the 2nd of May have triggered it just by stepping beyond. Then there's the golden record. Attached to Voyager 2 is a golden disc with sounds, greetings, and a map pointing to Earth. It was meant as a friendly gesture. But now, some wonder if it was too bold. If the edge of our system is not just a passive shell but a reactive zone, then the record may be more than just a hopeful message. It may have marked us. It may have exposed us. Every signal from Voyager tells the universe that Earth exists, and it gives clues to where we are. And if something is out there, listening, the golden record might be seen not as a gift but as a flare. A declaration that something intelligent came from this star. Voyager 2 was never supposed to last this long. It wasn't built to rewrite the story of our place in the cosmos. Yet here it is, decades later, sending back data that challenges everything. It crossed a line we didn't fully understand and found not emptiness, but pressure and order. A place where the rules of physics seem to shift and respond. This tells us something important. The edge feels less like an end, and more like a doorway. Not to another place, but to a new set of rules. Where storms rage in silence and magnetic waves move unseen. And then there's the golden record again.
a piece of art, hope, and maybe naive confidence. Launched across a barrier that now seems alive in ways we never guessed. Was it a greeting, or a warning signal? A peaceful hello, or a spark that lit up an ancient system we've only just stepped into? The mystery grows with every passing year. As Voyager 2 drifts further, it continues to whisper secrets from a place no human has seen. Maybe it was just an explorer. Or maybe it became something more, a message in motion, carrying our presence into the unknown. If this story made you question the borders of space or sparked a sense of awe, leave your thoughts below. Do you think Voyager 2 discovered something unnatural? Is the heliosphere just a bubble, or a cosmic mechanism we barely understand? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.